Um, pocket tents here. I think I can fall back, but uh, it's actually usually the threshold and um, um, the call will on, on this guy mainly. Um, and I think with him in the bot, I, I really prefer to call tents here. It's all cool. I will form it uh, a bit more polo. Uh, I should play in value uh, often here because even if he has the ace king, it's not that easy to play. And to, to play in the betting line. But even if he bets, I think I can call like so. I'll for now so I can bluff. <laughs> this is a funny sizing. Um, this one. He's, this guy is really good. Like he's he's doing some random stuff sometimes. But usually he's pretty pretty good he finds good explo uh, and it's tough to like really know what he wants to accomplish with this size of surf mm, i think now his range is not strong like i, I don't expect him to have queens plus i don't even expect lucas to have a jack so i think both range are pretty weak and here i want to value slash deny and I think when I do 14, I can value wins like uh, 7, 8, 10, 9 from the fish here. So I will just bet small. And when I bet small, also I let like Jack 10 or like 6, 7, for example, to raid. So I think the sizing is, is optimal. Because um, I don't think he has any Jack kicks. And now when he leads, it will be extremely unfortunate. But I think we, we need to fold. And uh, now I actually think I, I have value enough. Um, I'll, I'll t uh, we will see ants that will call me for sure. So. Uh, I'll just bet 21 here. I don't expect that much flush, so um, it, it's okay. And if he raise, I mean, it's only value, especially from this guy. So. It's, it's close, like, the, the value bet is not, well, like, 100% clear. So I think Jack. Race 9 will be a free bet here. Uh, I can play this as a call sometime, so. Let me see. Oh, cool. Random explosively today. He's C bet, he shouldn't bet uh, range here. I don't know what is his strategy. Like, if he if he bets range, it's really bad. Um, I can expect it from a, a tournament player. I mean, I don't say it's all bad, but like, sometimes I oversimplify some, some lines. Uh, that's a good sizing here. I, I don't think I'm supposed to fall uh, as strong as an ace here. So I'll call again. And on the river, I think we don't bluff that, but um, I have so... I, I don't have that much bluff in my perceived range, and he doesn't know me, so... What must I have? Yep. I, I, can do, I can do stuff here, like, I, I don't mind over bluffing this part, because it's it's really tough for me to... Because I, I need to call some, like, 4-5 maybe on the turn, this, this type of end. Um, So, i really tempted to bluff here, like, really tempted. I, I think uh, he will not have uh, well, that many, like his jack, his queen play this way, so I'm actually okay to check, but... I want to bluff so much, yeah. I'll check, I'll check. Check it. What the fuck? What is this sizing? This is really, really interesting because, like, this is about setting in theory, but I may know, like, what he's doing right now. <sighs> I think we need to call. Now I need to think uh, what he wants to do with this size. Because there's two options, I mean, he, he wants me to leave on myself because he did half pot and like huge sizing on the river. Uh, it's the opposite, like he, he wants me to call more and fall more after. I don't, I don't know how he's thinking, so... I think when I don't know, like you can just play more like strictly optimal and this end is not, not a call. Um, Why he wouldn't play his bluff in the two for line? Like this line doesn't make sense. It looks like queens are like ends that wants to get raised on the turn. But this guy is good enough to have like jack ten. So 
not that easy, but I think we need to to call like veterans here. Uh, the ten clubs is ten diamonds really bad. So uh, like H4 is five is just or better. So. Gonna fall. Seven six off is close against Twix. It's an open. And again, this size. Should be okay, but because if it's a fish player, I will call. I don't think it's pure fall against Twix, you, you need to call sometimes. Okay, I'll call. I think bar sizing are okay, like, uh, I like to do like 9.7.0 because when you do this type of sizing, like, fishes fall a bit more in general. I think both sizing are fine. And uh, I think you should blow this type of combos because the, um, a lot of people will, like, check floaters on the turn and um, after it's too profitable to bet because um, too much people just fall range. And uh, at this position and th with this line, you, you don't have that much even in the checking line because you only beat like King Queen and like random ends, and that's this type of ends might also like bet check bet. So I don't think you have a, like a UGV of checking. I'll put Jack 10, and if he opens the flat sometimes 200 zoom, 200 zoom, 1k. Yeah, I think it will be 200 zoom. So let's run the table. Let's go! Of course, if we have 5k again, I, I will put put out this table. Um, Jack 10 here, so no case sizing. I'll call. Uh, nice turn, because he doesn't have too many flushes. Like, King of Clubs will not bet this sizing that often, so now he, he doesn't have that many flushes. Um, I think next level raising is good, but uh, at this time, uh, I'll, I'll call. To stay like more totally standard here, that's cool. It's the worst of the deck. <laughs> I know the worst, worst, but um, now to have enough bluff, he needs to find some two pairs and also like pocket force without clubs, without diamonds. And it's actually tough um, for a lot of people to find this type of bluff, so it's, that's not easy right now. Um, is my end blocking bluffs? Not that much. Sure. With the fish here, we'll call. A bit loose, but I um, expect this to be okay. And now it's actually close, like I have the range advantage. Uh, I have the have like more equities in his range or like close because oh, I mean close because um like I don't like Asus off for example so um, I have ends that are more strong than him more stronger even if I don't have the overpairs. Uh 6-5 here can mix I'll raise this time It's not that good to raise, like, because um, I have only two hours against overpairs, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> mm. Mm, if I have overpairs, GG, but I don't think I should. I think I should just jump here. Yeah. Really don't like the Forex open, like really don't like it. I think we sh still should call, but ah, we can't even find some fall because the this range in, ge in general is too strong, especially when people limps. And you don't even realize you put your well, so not easy. Well, he doesn't bet bigger with uh, overpairs right now. Needs to go like. 
for 50% of the time. I actually think raising is okay. Because I feel like uh, he has, when she has like 8, 9, 10 jacks, like this, this type of offense might take the bigger siding often, so... Prefer to raise lower one, but at low frequency this one is okay. Especially if he's one third range here, it's, uh, he's going to have trouble to call enough. I'm close to break even on the turn. We have like pocket freeze, you can double check raise if you see bad. You see bad call too much pocket birds and um, delay them too much. What? Fuck. <sighs> okay, let's go. Open Queen Jack here. Yeah. And sit out next hand. It's not the most optimal end to do this with, but it's okay. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Ah, nice end, nice end. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, I knew it was laughing. Uh, I, I raised this sizing because um, you clearly have like two free sides in here depending on the, which clubs you have like here is able clubs for sure uh the ice one you can put them in the bigger one and when you're lacking of clubs you can do like massive sizing no, not that massive uh, but you can do a big sizing hope you enjoyed it and uh see you soon bye guys and if you have any question i'm on discord bye